Hello friends, my name is Abdurrahman Ramasood. Today we shall discuss about topic the introduction to Rust programming. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in programming and you want to learn about it. So, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, Rust is basically a programming language which we used for a low level programming or you can say a system level programming so that we can have a control over system resources without any compromise on the uh, safety concerns. Uh, basically it was a programming language which was developed by Mozilla and first released in 2010. Uh, Rust is very fast, reliable, concurrent like concurrency means multi-threading is there and it uh, aims to prevent common programming errors such as null pointer references and buffer overflows as well. So it's a very good language if you want to do the system level programming. So now we shall discuss more in detail. Uh, first concept or key feature in Rust is the ownership and the borrowing concept. Uh, basically friend, one of the most distinctive feature of Rust is ownership system. Each value in Rust has a variable that is its owner. Okay and uh, ownership is transferred through assignments or functions calls when the owner goes out of a scope the value is basically dropped so instead of garbage collection like garbage collection means that uh, like java and c sharp they have a concept of garbage collection in which the basically uh, system uh, manage the memory management and uh, is responsible for is, is there any uh, variable which is not using so it can uh, release the memory however they rust uses a system of ownership and borrowing to manage memory this eliminates many common programming errors related to memory management so let me give you an example here for example this is the function mean this is an example of ownership in which let s1 is equal to a string from hello let s2 s1 so i have created a variable s1 a string variable hello and then i have assigned the value of s1 uh, to s2 here so here i have created the uh, first the ownership was assigned to s1 when i assign the valuable s1 to s2 so ownership transferred so s1 is no longer valid in that case so that means once you assign the value s1 to s2 you have to use the variable s2 now because now s1 is now invalid okay this is an example another example of borrowing here borrowing means that for example let s3 is equal to s string from hello length is equal to calculate length s3 print line length here i have created a function calculate length which i am calling here calculate length here okay so once i uh, call the variable length uh, when i call the function length calculate length with the variable s3 uh, so what happened that calculate length take the variable s3 and it will return the variable uh, length okay so now this is an example here of borrowing so that means try to understand here that here the uh, function calculate length borrows the string okay it's taking the variable s3 uh, here I'm calling the uh, calculate length function s3 from here so this is an example of borrowing in that case the variable s3 is not invalid it's still valid you can use it and you still uh, basically not transferring the ownership but using the s3 variable as well so okay so this is a basic concept of uh, the ownership and the borrowing example next is the lifetime an annotation lifetime animation means that rust uses lifetime an annot annotations to ensure that references are valid for the duration they are used lifetimes are a way of expressing how long references are valid to prevent dangling references so try to understand from here with an example function mean let s1 is equal to a string from hello let result let s2 is equal to string from hello uh, from world result longest s1 s2 print line the longest string is this here the lifetime annotation indicates that the return reference is valid for the lifetime of the shorter of the two input references here friends see i have created there is a function longest okay which longest is calling from here which is basically taking two inputs s1 and s2 s1 is the hello 
and s2 is the world okay it's taking two string s1 and s2 then comparing s1 length if s1 length is greater than s2 uh, is greater than then s1 it will return the s1 else s2 here see uh, the length of the string one h e double l o so that means one two three four five and one two three four five both are basically the same however if it will return it will manage it will compare the string one with s2 if it's greater than s1 it will return the s1 if it is else it will return the s2 so basically friend this is an example of the uh, uh, annotation li longest function longest this function uses lifetime annotation lifetime annotation to return specify that the return reference return reference means this s1 or s2 is valid for the shorter of the two input references okay so that means it will just come uh, compare and it will return s1 or s2 it uh, that life is only uh, be there once it we are calling the longest function okay so this is the concept of lifetime uh, lifetime annotation uh, next is the concurrency friend uh, concurrency means rust provides powerful concurrency abstraction without the need for a garbage collector the honor ship and boring system ensure threat safety by printing data races in the races concurrency concept is means that friend we are basically calling concurrent function or you can say uh, multi threading or uh, multitasking concept is there for example uh, using uh, library std uh, and time duration thread and uh, function mean let handle is equal to thread spawn for int in 1 to 5 print line spawn thread thread sleep duration from millis then for i in 1 to 3 print line main thread thread sleep duration from lease and handle dot join unwrap simply friend this is an example of the concurrency in which we are uh, running multiple threads here so basically this example demonstrates basic concurrency using threads these are the threads means uh, multiple task basically the spawn function this is spawn function creates a new thread and the join function uh, waits for that thread to finish okay so simply a uh, friend uh, try to understand from here that the uh, uh, concurrency means that you are running multiple threads at a single time concurrently concurrent just try to understand from here concurrent like you are running multiple tasks concurrently or in parallel error handling Error handling means that it has a unique approach to error handling using the result and option. Okay, result and option types. This encourages explicit handling of errors and reduces the reliance and the exception. Result uh, error handling means that simple uh, friend. If you know about the try catch concept in the uh, Java and other language, like you execute some code. If there is any exception, so you will catch that exception and print that. Here I have. We have using the std library then std uh, self read library function main which basically let result read file content read file content this is the method here uh, uh, function here then match result match result that means ok content print file content content error e print line error basically friend this is the function read file content ok it will uh, basically it will read the file and uh, file open example dot txt this is the file here then content string dot new string new and file read dot to string and ok content basically friend uh, we are opening a file and reading that file and printing the in uh, 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 the uh, content in that file if there is any error occurred so we will print it so basically it is simply the friend concept of try catch here that in which uh, we execute some code if there is any error in that code we will uh, print uh, we will catch that it is simple match result if there is any if it's okay then this else this this code uses the result type for error handling this question mark okay the question mark here we see this question mark uh, operator is used to propagate error up to the call stack 
Friend, these examples cover some fundamental aspects of Rust programming. Rust syntax and concepts might initially feel challenging, but they contribute to creating safer and more performant system level code. So friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.